All right. Uh, today is uh, November 6th. Facilities yeah. Transportation Committee President and myself, Steve Birdhouse. Russell Jarrett. <laughs> Rob Hurley. Julia Olson. Tom Volker. Bucky Scott. Kevin Strobel. All right. Uh, we'll start off uh, high school <clears throat> fire panel update. Okay, so far uh, the project is on schedule. I'm happy to say uh, they've actually been working in our hallway and our bathrooms uh, the last week or so, so they've been a little distracting, but nonetheless, uh, they're making progress here. Uh, we are anticipating by um, the completion to be done by mid December. Um, the, we have uh, done a walkthrough with the Union Fire Department um, just so they got an idea where the progress were also last week. So, good shape. Um, it should be done on time, so we're real happy with the work ethic and everything else. There. I have a question about them. When they go off, will they set off sprinkler systems then as well? Uh, I mean, in what, if there's. If there's a, like, we're getting a new system to tell us, hey, there's a fire. Are they connected into the sprinkler system? How does that work? Or are they just all heat sensors? Yeah, I, I can get that. I can get that. It's not. Yeah, it's not important. It's just one yeah. thing you popped in as you're talking about. I'm like, oh, I wonder how that works. So. Yeah, I don't think it's going to because the picture because we're a school building and kids pull firearms they and do. stuff exactly. like that. Right. So I got. It. I, I don't Probably think not. Okay. House yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Good there, Rob. Then we'll move on to the high school doors. Yep. Okay, high school doors. Unfortunately, uh, doors that are by code, um, they're very expensive. Uh, we have uh, basement doors that need to be replaced. Uh, these are important doors for security reasons. Um, they have reached the end of their usable life. Uh, we do have a uh, price in front of you there. They are co-stars. Um, they can't be used. We need to have more places. There's not a whole lot to say other than that. So you say end of life. How, do you have an idea how old they are? Are they original to the building? They're the original doors. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Any questions on that for the committee? No. All right, so we'll move that out of the committee then. All right, and move over to Berkshire Systems contract. Okay, this contract that we would like to move forward is uh, this our contract at the end of this month with them expires. Uh, we're recommending a one-year contract because we're looking to uh, replace our security cameras um, and with a different group, uh, but obviously we're not in that position currently. This will get us through until next year. Um, the Basically, they do this. Uh, they keep our cameras upgraded. Um, they also do an inspection of our cameras once a year. Um, obviously, they wanted a longer contract. We're only getting to them one year, uh, so we asked for more approval on that for security reasons. Is there a... Is, is there a um a layout like of all the cameras obviously you wouldn't want that being passed around for security reasons <clears throat> but the age on the cameras and whatnot because it seems to me like during my time here that we've re we've added a bunch of cameras and so you know a, a, when you go to a new security system we're talking about replacing all the cameras because there's probably a fair amount of cameras that are still okay um type of thing you know right. and there's always new and better every like my apple phone i mean it's last year's model but it's you know still works um, but to, where is there a lifespan for them or anything like that? Yes, and, and it will be a gradual replacement and what we'll do the plan right now, we're still, we're actually working through this in our strategic planning process also, right. is to do it gradually and then gradually replace our systems gotcha. um, as we go along. So that's a good question. I thought the police requested that we get more. It was where it meant the security. We have, we have had it. Years ago. Years ago, we have added more through some grants. We have added more significantly more cameras, say over the last six, seven years than we had. But previously. that was recommended to us. Better. Yeah, we had like previously. If you go back about seven years ago, the Monocs didn't even have cameras except for right in the entrance, but um, they've been added all over so the this building. Is, so um, things like that. We've done. That would be a, a, one of our last replacements because they were the cameras, cameras for there. the cameras for the yeah. Some of your other cameras, like your middle school, are very right. aged at this point in time. Okay, any other questions on the contract from Berkshire Systems? No. So we'll move that out of committee as well. And move on to middle school bleachers. 
I'm going to share some pictures with you guys so you can see what we're looking at. How does that happen? This is one we're not happy about because um, we just recently replaced this. Um, our middle school bleachers have been playing hockey. Damaged, yeah. um, again, and uh, you can see the pictures of it. It's in long condition. Uh, it's very. This was this was done not with the mask. It was done. We believe it was done by, and we're not. We're looking through video cameras. Uh, we believe it was done by students. And if you look at the shapes of the way of um, through those pictures, they're like foot. So, so I can't. Yes. I, I, I gotta got say something just because I I want Chris, Kristen's face to go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just that um, you know the mats were purchased to prevent uh, damage being done by. Um, sports equipment and balls and stuff like that. We, what's happening, what we're talking about now is stuff that some, you know, Band probably Say students. vandalism? Is that what yeah, some, yeah, probably students, but we don't, but we can't narrow down if it's happening, like, um, during gym class or if it's happening at Because all those cameras we bought aren't we in the narrow, gym. We can't narrow that down. Yep. So. Shouldn't the, the PE teacher be saying, hey, my teachers are... But it's not always. It's not always just. That's not the only people that use fill. Yeah, but like if they, when they come in in the morning and they start class and notice the bleachers are damaged, and we can at least narrow it down on, on when it happened, right? Do you have any idea when this it happened? Middle school. Mm -hmm. It's there. There are so many. Damn. There's so many that are damaged. No. At this point. I don't know. I but I'm but um. You Wait. Know, so when when was it reported? Uh, you know, yeah. Take a look. <laughs> you know, over the course of the last ever since school like started. So I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to interrupt Mr. Early. I just wanted to um, just talk. It was two different issues that we were trying to fix. They just took force, or like, or are their bleachers just cracked? Like, it's a combination of two things. We think the quality of the bleachers was low quality. Um, that was when they were originally ordered. That's all they had um, in stock. Uh, but still, this should not have happened, unfortunately. Um, it's our belief by the shapes of it when you go to a close inspection uh, that it's from kids stomping down with their feet, and um, most likely it was done with intention. We do not believe it's when the bleachers are out and kids are sitting in them, that's when we think this was happening. Uh, Jeff is going through uh, videos. The, we don't believe it happened during the, the volleyball games that were there um, so far from looking at it. We're trying to pin down was there an assembly or something there um, that, where that may have happened itself. And uh, so Jeff's working on that piece of force right now. But we're not happy with it because we just spent some money on it. And um, it's just very disappointing. Well, could that have happened over the weekend if you did basketball or something outside groups there? Potentially Jeff's looking into that for us. Okay. 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 Question: Will insurance cover that? Wow. Will insurance, will insurance that's, cover that? That's an interesting question. I think we'll speak with the, um, Christian on that. I wouldn't think if it's intentional. It's I mean, that's what insurance does. I could think insurance. I guess. Insurance What's wouldn't that? be for wear and tear. So you can put your foot through. We, we think what the kids were doing was they were slamming down. Like, we think they were slamming with their feet down. Like in that, with you know, obviously they would have to do something out of the intent. What if somebody fell? <laughs> so well, that's why we need to fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. ah, so that's, that's why we want to fix it. I find it crazy that they're making these off of those things. Yep. Wow. And again, that building is what now, 20 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At this point, wouldn't it be better to find a different bleacher system? That's interesting that you should. Yeah, that's uh, $21,000 <laughs> versus. All bleachers? That would be over a hundred, a couple hundred, I think. Keep, keep going. Uh, yeah, go this, ahead. The bleachers that we're looking at, right next one here, is uh, they are of higher quality. Um, so hopefully they and you can have a guarantee. Um, it'll be much more difficult for the kids um, to cause any sort of damage. Can we get a small section and have like the strongest students set them up? <laughs> <laughs> 
And the reason why we have you so high in the middle school, just to give you guys a little bit of context, is the when the building was built, uh, the auditorium, to save money, we, the auditorium was shrunk. You can only get a grade level with your auditorium. This is so you can have whole, basically whole group assemblies and the entire student body in there. Um, obviously, the middle school sporting events, um, they were never filling those state and those uh, pictures up. So Rob, this ESM, these are individual seats then that would be to put together to form a whole section? Yeah, it will be a replacement of all that. It will be um, a replacement of the whole thing is my understanding from speaking to Jay on this. The ARCO star is awesome. awesome. They, come is. In, they come a seat at a time? That's pretty interesting. Or is that, is that a row? What's that? I believe that's a row. That's a row, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And like each each like row all the way across the wall has like what four or five maybe uh, the the rows. Yeah, that is. So I think ones. that's a logical conclusion there. Yeah, like I don't know how many it seats, but it's not like the whole way from wall to wall. Right. Is there any way they could just replace the one row or two rows? Yeah, I don't know if the color matches. I don't know. I guess. Okay. Why? Have you ever considered putting a sponsor for those public pictures? Like, kind of on the scale? Like, is this advertising on the billboard? And the scoreboard? We tried to get the scoreboard before. We've been on some stuff. That's a good idea, though. Seriously, that's a good idea. Rob, yes. is, the, is the bid here where, it's, you know, where it says bid one, $11,000, is that for the broken pieces? Or is that for. Okay. Up at the top, it says 123 EMS seats. So, is that how many were damaged, or is I, I believe it's for the whole thing. So it also aesthetically, it looks reasonable. So the whole so thing like replaced for. Yeah. Do we know how so, many bleachers were broken? I mean, the, 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 how many? Like, there's 100 bleachers and 26 were broken, or 10 were broken. I can give you the exact. I can give that you the significant. It, it, it's yeah. significant. I can get that to you if you want. So I, 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 let me just ask: Is what I'm seeing here is if we did both sides of the both sides of the auditorium, um, not the auditorium, but both sides of the gym, it would be twenty-one five plus with, plus plus seventy-five hundred for installation. Right. Is that what is that correct? That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. That's for the new bleachers, right? Right. If yes. we did that, so it's almost like thirty. It's really not that like bad. thirty grand. Yes. And how much are we spending to replace these things every? How many do we spend last every year? year? How much did we spend yeah, last year to replace? Yeah, about thirty thousand. We've spent thirty thousand to replace. To replace just the interesting. But was that just the middle school, or was that yeah. high school too? No, it's so just that was just the middle school. Those oh. are the ones that were broken. Why was this never thought of before? I seem to remember Wasn't the game was away. There, there have been um, the last time we ordered new. You know, we we replaced just the ones that were broken. And we, th I thought we were fixing an issue where they were getting damaged in the front from sports balls. While they're closed. And, and, yeah. Yeah, so, right, that's what I thought the discussion the same, was last time, before, that they were the same damaged. They were before, but now we're getting intentional damage to the seats. This is the only spec sound, like it doesn't say, like can handle yeah. um, tons of something being thrown at it. Ms. Mr. Volker has a link to the to the website where they are sell, sold. If, if he, you could, can you send it to everybody uh, so they can see him? It's just what's linked in the uh, Oh, am I missing a link? Oh, sorry, it's the, the flyer. I apologize. That's okay. Yeah. Do any other schools in the area have these? Are we bringing this out of committee today? Is that the plan? Uh, you know, I, assume, I, would, I assume they would want to. Yeah, I would think you would have to. I would really <laughs> like it if if we if we spent the, almost the same amount last year <clears throat> and and we're this score back at the same point, you know, I'd rather just spend thirty thousand dollars and get much of it than that work. I don't remember. I'd still like to find out if insurance would cover Absolutely. some of it and give us the money towards the purchase. I assume they would reimburse us. Pardon? I would advertise. They would reimburse yeah. us, yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, because we could, if, if you wanted, we could 
if, if we have enough to, if we have enough support to do it, we could vote it out of committee, and then also, like, it wouldn't be voted on until the end of the month. Right. And so we could look into if there is a, a process by which we could reimburse, and if well, and if like insurance won't reimburse us unless we do a like you know something different, we can always pull that right. and, and make the decision so later, right? I, I don't know. Yes, yeah. I think I think we could we could move forward out of committee. Just a thought. That would be my Yeah. I mean, either we, way. If insurance doesn't pay us, if we find out two weeks from now, insurance said, no way, they're still going to do it. Right. right. So there's no reason to not take that out of committee, and then that right. way we're right. done with it, and it goes to the board for the next piece. And if we get money from the insurance company, it's a windfall. Right. And, and same, thing, same, thing with asking, same thing with asking if someone in the community, some, um, um, a business in the community would help us pay for them. That's the same thing. You know? They can put their sticker with their name on it. What do you think, Mr. Rittenhouse? Give him a banner in the gym. No, I, I agree. Um, what is the yeah. current Tom. bleacher company say Mr. about this? Have you the shown old, them? They, they, they're, those I thought you wanted to say something. Those bleachers that we have were being discontinued, so I, I don't know what the company itself was saying about their... Oh. You know, so you haven't shown them, like, hey, your bleachers are lasting hmm. like, a couple months. They might be like, oh, yeah, we know. That's why we don't sell anymore. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the new ones we got were discontinued? Yeah, that was why we purchased them when we did, because it was, you couldn't, we weren't going to be able to get them. We didn't know we'd be able to get them again. Wow. I'd like ones that last longer. So the 30 grand we spent last year was for all new ones? Is that correct? Of the same type that we had, yeah. But but they were all replaced last year. Yeah. Wow. Let's go back to the good old fashioned wood. We looked at it. Oh, really? Metal, wood. Yes. Yep. I think it's unbelievable they could do that much damage and there wasn't a. an adult. Well, he's still looking. Yeah, he's still, right. They're still trying yeah. to figure I'm it just, out. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, yes. obviously there, there was no one there for a Did while. Did it happen at a game? The other question, I don't think it happened again. Some people know that. Um, but the other question I have is, is you know, um, and then obviously you have the specs in front of me. Did, do we look at the specs? Are these break proof? I mean, are they saying that, you know, these are, you know, because we could spend the same 30 all new ones again and make right. sure you're looking at the same thing again. So um, is there any kind, of you know, any kind of break guarantee of some sort um, on these? I don't see it. Mr. Red, I don't Does it say there's a guarantee. However, there's, there's not a guarantee. What we will do, what I can do for you, um, Kevin has a good point about the insurance. Uh, we can circle back um, to the group here uh, in regards to the insurance piece uh, before we move forward with anything on here. Um, if you guys are okay with that, um, we, we can certainly squeeze them and ask them. There was nothing in their documentation about guarantees. Yeah, because like, when I went, when you first said the 30000 we spent on them before, Repairing them, we didn't repair them. We replaced them last year for thirty. So that kind of, I'm still in. We're going to have to do something. Um, and if you can't buy that particular bleacher, so you can't buy ten of them anymore, probably there's no other choice but to go forward. But we should probably make sure that what we're buying doesn't happen again. That it's just some strength, some strength there, and some guarantee by the company. You would think there'd be some type of guarantee from the company. Um, they're a year old. It shouldn't snap quite that easily. I mean, I get it. Somebody took a hammer to it, but it doesn't look like that. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. How about we bring it back to the committee for our next committee meeting? Okay, we'll circle back, get the information uh, you want there, and we'll bring that back. Okay? That's fine. Good questions. All right. Thank you. Uh, move on to the basketball court. Every okay, this is a late court. addition yeah. to where, because um, this just got brought to my attention here. Uh, the intermediate center, one of the baskets is no longer functional on the basketball court. Uh, this, the baskets down there are something that's used heavily by us and also obviously community organizations, um, the local youth basketball association. Uh, we have uh, the other ones that Jay, Jay went through and inspected them. The other ones also need to be tightened up in the bolts and everything. So what's on here is for the replacements of the one that's completely non-functional, and then they, they're gonna go up and they're gonna tighten everything up on the other ones, because um, he said it looks like it hasn't been since the building was built. Um, 
also. Uh, it's basically maintenance and fixing the one that we have there to make sure all of our basketball courts are functional. And that's at the intermediate center. Okay. Is there anything anybody wants to talk about with that? The quote? Yeah, that's pretty straightforward there. Yeah. Good. All right, we'll move that out then as well. And move on to building heating. Uh, building heating, the heat was turned on today uh, for everything. And um, so far, so good. Of course, now it gets warm outside. <laughs> this is the time for that. Uh, so the heat was turned on in the district. Uh, they asked me to pass that on to you, so everyone's aware of that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And we'll move on to the Weaver Town Road subdivision update. Uh, the, the township is making progress here. Uh, we're expecting to get a review letter um, from the township engine, engineer um, by the end of the week, actually. So the, that was in terms of uh, potentially with all the rezoning and everything there. Uh, the, we'll have to make some decisions at that point in time where we're going to go as a district. Obviously, um, we're aware of some potential subdivisions and things that Mr. Volker uh, picked up on at, at the last meeting he was at. Um, so it may or may not change our, what our long-term plans are. Um, but this was obviously several months ago, this was brought forward to at least get the zoning stuff um, taken care of if we decide to move forward. So we should have that by the end of the week. So that's a quick update for that. Okay, thank you very much. And that will conclude our... Uh, okay. Oh, yes, go ahead. I want to go back to the busing for Burrsboro. Um, I did a little research, and um, I don't believe there's any middle school students that have to walk, uh, even the houses across from the middle school, get a bus. Um, the intermediate center kids, uh, if they live within a half mile of the um, intermediate center, they have to walk. So that means half of that subdivision gets a bus. Um, I think two miles for Burrsboro students to to walk for high school is too far, and I think we should consider either bringing it in maybe a mile and a half or a mile. Um, I don't think it's it's safe for kids to be walking in the dark in the snow um, to school. And I mean, it's already bad enough they got to cross 345. People are not doing 15 miles an hour down down that road. Um, so I think we should definitely look into. For those okay. <clears throat> could we, could uh, Jay or I guess Christ put together a, an estimate of what that would do? How many students? Are, are we talking for this school year or for next school year? For next year. For next year. It would, it would be, um, from our, our discussion last time, like, it, you know, it depends every year. But like to bring it into a mile and a half, it would probably add like maybe 20 to 25 kids more on a bus. And if you brought it into a mile, it could be as many as 40. But you know, that, 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 even that sounds high right now because our total our total high school population is right around a thousand. So even that sounds high to me. Um, but um, so we're talking less than a full bus. Um, so. Um, um, of course, everything has a cost associated with it, um, but um, I think we could, uh, like, what would happen if we change it to a mile and a half, or what would happen if we change it to a mile and a quarter? Right. You know? I think it's a, we should get the idea of what, you know, what that effect would have on the district. It hasn't always been two miles, but it's been that way for a long time. We will, um, we can have, and it obviously won't be instantaneous because they have yeah. to be sort of mock rallying of stuff that we'll put together and we'll get it from Christ and our people will piece together um, some sort of cost estimate uh, and we'll bring it back to the facilities committee. Thank you. All right, anything else? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Right. No. Nope. All right, we'll conclude the meeting at 627. Thank you.